Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to Reforge Mafia. My name is Lucky Hissar. Once again, I have a third age Reforge battle for you. Uh, today, we, it's kind of something a little different. It's uh, We planned this out, uh, all the testers, um, and uh, Crimson and J-Monster and Rohirrim and uh, Celtic and myself all decided that we needed to play uh, Khan versus Rohan. So that's what this is today. It's a 3v3 Khan versus Rohan showdown. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll kind of run over the army comps. It's um, pretty much, I think, the only unit Khan did not take on, for all three teams uh, is Brotherhood of the Axe. Um, I have the pretty much standard army. And, I mean, so does uh, Crimson and J-Monster. Uh, Crimson brought a little bit more Elite, and we'll see him throughout the battle. It's quite a long 3v3 battle, so I don't want to spend too much time. And all the units are kind of the same. So, And then J-Monster brought uh, Black Powder Hawacha. So, uh, yeah, and, and then Rohan is, like, similar story. It's only one faction, so... Uh, like Crimson, uh, or Rohirrim Knight, he brought three uh, imp, uh, civilians, and quite a bit of calf, and uh, let's see, Infix brought um, just a uh, standard army, he got more, he's brought more spears than uh, I think everybody else did, and then for Celtic, he just pretty much brought all calf, <laughs> and uh, except uh, these Awen Shield Maidens, so he brought two units of these these pretty little girls so yeah we will uh just go ahead and kick it off here because then we'll, we'll dig down deep in the uh units as we see them fight because uh, i'm not gonna repeat uh nurad halberts 10 times so there's no point in that but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this it was uh, a pretty hard battle and uh yeah so uh, right off the bat you can see that uh, Crimson is pushing up. J Monster is coming towards Crimson, probably because he is outnumbered in the uh, Cav skirmish battle. So he's already outnumbered when it comes to horse archers. Uh, let's see, Rohirrim Knight has one, two, three, four. He's got four, five. Five units of missile cavalry. And let's see what his infix have. Uh, let's see. He's got. He's just got two. But it looks like Celtic is going to be the first one to engage. And uh, I have some foot archers over here, some nomadic light, uh, nomadic infantry. And he is sending up his horse archers, and he's got some uh, Rudimark light cavalry right here. So it's a pretty good bang for your buck. It's they got 90 in a unit. Good lord. So uh, if they lose about 20, they can still be effective because they are fast. And uh, he's going straight towards my archers, which is not cool. I was not paying attention. He's going to get a nice charge off on this. Let's see how many he's knocking down. Ah, uh, shaving it. My bro, uh, Nurad Windblades. The nasty unit that you want to keep healthy as long as you can it was too late. They got there too late. I have uh, two vague Varag horse archers. I'm trying to focus down these two little circle dooley dad things going on here. But uh, he tried it again. He tried to get his light cavalry to uh, take out some more of my archers. And uh, that time I was right on the money with it. Stopped him. So he's lost about 20 or so of them. Still an effective uh, unit. I mean, 73 art, uh, light cab is really good. Over here on the other side, it looks like it's just uh, they're flinging arrows back and forth. J Monster has four. Yeah. He's got four archer cab. Some nomadic light cavalry mixed in with some Nurag horse archers. And uh, they're not too bad. They, I mean, they're the, they're the lowest tier archer cap unit that uh, Khan can bring, but they also have a nice little shield bonus on their backs. Uh, it's not too much effective right now since they're aiming... It's on their back, they're aiming the other way. 
But uh, these guys, Nurag Force Archers, are a the third tier. So they're below Brotherhood of the Bow and the, uh, uh, what are they called? Chieftain Vanguard? I think that's what they're called. The uh, 33 unit bow calf. But uh, Rahir Knight has a lot, a lot of Force Archers. And he has these civilians out here just uh, doing a little folk dance. And I guess they're just there to take arrows, which uh, uh, J Monster might have been microing somewhere else and might not have noticed. He was just aiming at uh, civilians, just like this. These guys just got plowed. Good lord. It's terrible. Yeah, dead bodies on the field. And um, right now we are winning by 15 to 7. So Khan is down. We're winning by 7%. And that is probably because it's just a uh, low tier, really cheap crap like uh, civilians and some of these uh, some of these uh, lancers and light cab that Celtic is bringing in at first. He does that uh, probably for me to waste ammunition on him, so he, then he can bring in the higher higher tier stuff later on. This right here, I shouldn't have even been wasting my ammo. <laughs> There's only 30 of them left. I think they start out with like 75, and they're just going around in circles. So it's like, what do you do? But yeah, it's a it's a good play by Celtic. Leave them there. Let the enemy waste ammo. Here comes some Eastmark horse archers. Thought they were out of ammo, but nope. They tricked you. They pulled their bows out. They're aiming for you again. Here comes some light cavalry. Going to try. To get my horse archers, but I bluffed him with some Nurad retainers, and uh, not bluffed him. I called this bluff. He was bluffing me. But yeah, he wanted me to uh, chase him. I imagine so then he could target me with just about four units of horse archers. Let's see what's going on in the middle. It's kind of like a standoff. So in the middle, you never really want to commit everything because then. Uh, both teammates on the other side can kind of close your flanks and you get surrounded pretty fast. Um, one kind of bad thing going on right here, these Nurad Windblades are just sitting here taking some ammo fire. They do have 2 HP. Their armor is only 8 and if you want to get rid of these guys faster than normal, just shave HP off them and take them down with arrows. Over here, though, J Monster's kind of taking a beating on the uh, horse archer f battle. Uh, if I was J Monster, maybe I'd just rush him because it's it's just horse archer after horse archer. And then once these guys run out of ammo, their charge is one, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world. Uh, of course, each of them varies depending on what their attack is, but in general, they're uh. <laughs> Charges one. Yeah, look at all these dead horses over here. So Celtic and I are kind of getting after it. We, uh, I, I don't have much of an option but to sit here and skirmish with him. Because if I were to push forward, all his calves are just going to scatter. And then he's going to pick me apart like a vulture. So this is, this is a mistake. I wasn't paying attention to these horse archers. Are they going to charge? They eventually charge. And uh, he gets him in here on my foot archers. But yeah, right now it's just kind of a chess match. Especially with arrow fire. And like, mistakes like this, just walking my uh, Nurad retainers is a bad mistake. They lost units right here due to that bow fire. Here we go. Oh, that's heavy cap getting in here. At least it's just nomadic raiders, but I don't have enough archers. I don't have enough archers that he has, so I can't match it. So I have to save all my archers that I can, and that was a bad, bad mistake. Now over here, uh, let's see, J Monster looks like he is saying, screw that fight. I will have Crimson's right flank. And uh, maybe that's what I should have done. I maybe should have uh, 
stood out here for a little bit and then rush to this to this nice hill I mean it I'm kind of like a sitting duck with all this mobile mobile archers and everything else and like here I try to try to go after a calf they run away and then I get shot in the back ah oh, it's terrible yeah, here we go. Now a fight's going on. Ooh, these Rudmark Skirmishers getting a nice volley off on these Neurad Retainers. Neurad Retainers, though, are higher defense. I think their defense is like 20. That's not counting their shield or their armor. Uh, their, I mean, their uh, melee defense is 20. So, yeah, their, sh their shield and armor uh, are pretty decent for a unit that only costs 650 florins. And, uh... Their attack's only about five, but their melee defense is uh, 20. So it's it's definitely a good counter uh, cab unit that will sit out here and kind of just bog down the enemy. And while like your cataphracts can come in and get a nice charge off on uh, the sitting duck, but these cataphracts are kind of slow too. That's cool. They uh they have one-handed axes. Screw his sword, we'll just hack him to death. These red shields right here, getting in here, silencing these nomadic infantry, these uh, archers, which are a pretty decent archer unit. Yeah, they're uh, they're starting to drop, I guess. They uh, they're pretty pricey, but they are a good hybrid unit. Sons of Earl getting in here as well. That Neurod Retainer tried to hold out as long as it could, but it's down to five. These Brotherhood, or Neurod Windblades, excuse me, uh, they are down to five as well. So, Cav is on its last leg for Khan. Pretty much in every direction. My Windblades are down to 23. Uh, I have some Neurod Retainers and some Vergat Archers and some Brotherhood of the Bow. Brotherhood of the Bow has a decent charge just because they are so fast and their attack value or attack is not bad at all. So, uh, oh, here we go. I didn't know this Hawacha got off in the game. But uh, I wish it could have been better. The uh, troops just aren't bunched up as they should be. It might have been used better on top of this hill and made Infix commit. Going over here, godly, look at all the dead horses. I bet that smells so bad. <laughs> dead horses, four days. Let's see, what are these guys? Brotherhood of the Bow. They look like pretty much Brotherhood of the Sword, but they're on a horse. Pretty cool, I guess. They are a good, a good unit for, uh, uh, and they can, they can have a decent charge on lighter stuff, not like, uh, Oh, the Haven Guard. <laughs> uh, here we go. Heavy cab getting in here. On my archers. I need all my archers I can get. Oh, no, no, no. These are uh, nomadic light infantry. These are just the fodder crap. So I bunched my archers up. I wanted to get a, a tighter... Uh, what, what am I saying? Tighter missile radius. I guess that's what you could say. If that's the right definition. Um... Shield maidens? Not bad target. These shield maidens can ruin your day. And they're not a bad melee unit as well. Let's see these very horse archers trying to get in here on these shield maidens, but it looks like I didn't make a dent. Yeah, oh I see one. I see one. One dead. <laughs> you see, Khan looks like it's kind of pushed up too far here in the middle, these very uh, bowmen are pretty stinking close but they might be going uh, trying to go after a special target here let's see oh here we go watch you getting some shots off just a couple got a couple horses not enough to pay for itself really I like bringing two of them and just making the enemy so nervous that he has to move two of them are pretty good pretty cool you just aim them both at the same target and it just blasts everywhere. <laughs> it does cost 2,000 though, so if it's 
If you go bust on it, it really sucks. Yeah, it's kind of kind of slow at the moment. It is just a chess game, but this is this is uh, this was the intense battle we planned for like a week. We were saying we're gonna do Khan, we're gonna do Rohan, and uh, people that know how to play with them are gonna play it. So, uh, especially Rohirrim Knight, that's his name, and he's playing Rohan. So, uh, yeah. So it's it, it was a pretty intense fight. Both sides wanted to win bad because we both wanted our factions to be the best that day. So you guys will just have to stay tuned to see what happens at the end. Percentages though, Khan is winning by, what is that, I can't do math, 8%. So it's not uh, it's not too bad, it's not too far away from him. Uh, out of Rohan's reach, the Sons of Earl gonna get in here. On these nomadic raiders, hopefully these nomadic maulers can get a throw off. Are they going to? Yes! That's nice. It didn't take much out, but it uh, shaved off some HP, which is a must for these guys, because these guys can be very deadly. And I don't think my halberds really took, well, they took a couple out, so. But now uh, these halberds are going to get picked apart. Shield maidens. Uh, they didn't do too bad. Oh, these nomadic scouts down to 30. They took a, a volley of fire and they broke. They, they break pretty easily. My Brotherhood of the Bow, uh, or no, Nerad Windblades get in here. Look at that charge. Oh, that is nice. Took probably about 35 of them down, and that is much needed because these. Little girls are nasty. <laughs> so now the standoff is a true standoff now with uh, uh, J Monster and Rohirrim Knight on the other side. Now it's uh, Foot Archers going after some Black Powder Hawacha. He's sending this unit out here just to try to stop something. Uh, but J Monster right now has the most cav out of any of us. He's got three Nurad retainers, a very high, a good high defense cavalry. And he's got some uh, Neurog Horse Archers, so maybe he can get these guys to waste a little more ammo. And he still has a fresh unit of Neurog Windblades, so he... J-Monster is sitting uh, pretty much the best out of the rest of us, because the rest of us are kind of like scrambling to see uh, what we can have at the end of the battle, because right now it's not looking too hot. Shield Maidens, looks like they're all out of ammo. Gonna charge Howards. Oh my gosh, what was that? There's something with these uh, Neurod Halberds, and I've seen it before. I saw it on the, uh, the 3v3v1 Mordor battle that we posted, uh, where uh, when Rohan was charging up the hill, these Halberds were about to hit, and right when they hit, they turn right around, and they get hit in the back. Um... It's just, I don't know what's up with that unit, but uh, these Bear God Warriors taking on the Heavy Cavalry from Rohan, and they have a Cav bonus, but it's not like as noticeable as you would think, and they took a big hit right here, 143, I think they start off with 203, and my Halberds over here are kind of just doing whatever they want. Nomadic Warriors and every, everybody. It's just like I'm trying to just see what I have left. <laughs> it's a mess. And I'm trying to save these Windblades so bad. But it's it's just too hard to do because Celtic knows he is going to pick those guys off. Windblades getting in here on the Heavy Cavalry from Rohan. There's only five of them left. They're not going to last. They are dropping some of them, though. <laughs> they don't go down without a fight. They are, they are a pretty cool the unit. It's my favorite cab unit in the game. They have lost half their men. Just because they're so fast. These uh, Hornberg sentries haven't been, haven't even seen battle yet. And these shield maidens, there's no answer that J-Monster can give, but they're just getting free shots off in these halberds. 
But no, this is uh, no, Nurod Footman. So he has these guys out here to protect the Halberds. I like the Nurad Footman so much, I would almost switch it around. Because <laughs> uh, every game I play, yeah, the Halberds hold the line, but the Nurad Footmen are so versatile. They can do shield wall, they are AP, they have high numbers, their attack isn't high, but they, they always get, in the games I played, majority of the time, two times as many kills as the Halberds do. So, it's definitely a unit uh, that is a, a good unit for Khan. Over here, these uh, Varagap warriors taking another charge. It just uh, Celtic's been really picking on this unit, and I did not take that cav bonus. I didn't take one cav down at all, and my war chiefs were too late. I'd rather them charge these guys. See how they like it. These war chiefs are nasty. These nomadic warriors need to get the heck out of here. Celtic saying no, not gonna happen. But my horse archers coming in gonna stop the bleeding and uh, war chiefs are gonna just rip these cav a new one that's why Celtics getting the heck out of there because these war chiefs are no unit you take lightly and uh, shield maidens are gonna try to get some volleys off on them and they are 2 HP as well so they're not gonna take them down that easy but I'd rather have my 2 HP <laughs> if I can hold on to it these very high warriors also taking another beating, another charge, not a single dead horse. Uh, there's there's one. There's one dead horse. Oh no, ooh, that's what I like to see. The sons of Earl getting in there. Not what they wanted. My wind blades though, balance of forces even with 17 Earls left. That's not gonna work out though. I doubt it. But over on my side, Celtic and myself looks like we're running out of steam, and it, it could just be like a big cancellation of both teams. Oh my goodness, so what in the world is going on over here? Uh, Rohan and Khan in the middle have finally decided, and Fix and Crimson, finally decided to commit, as well as the uh, J Monster and Rohirrim Knight. These halberds are turned the wrong way again. They always do this crap. <laughs> it's a, uh, I don't know. You really have to watch these guys. You have to uh, click on them, straighten the line out, and then attack the unit again. I don't know why it does that, but J Monster. It looks like he's victorious on in the middle portion of his fight, so he's gonna turn and flank these guys. They're uh, Ridmark action axemen and shield maidens which is a very good choice. And it looks like he's winning the infantry fight over here, which is to be expected. Khan's infantry is pretty decent uh, for, uh, you know, being a horse-ish faction. I don't know. I like their infantry a lot. I'd rather have their infantry than their um, cav besides the uh, uh, Nurad Windblades. But if it's Nurad Windblades against the Nurad War Chiefs, I'd rather have the War Chiefs. Because War Chiefs will win that fight too. Um, so yeah, I really like I really like the infantry. I think uh, a lot of people are starting to understand the power of Khan infantry. These Nurad War Chief retainers are down to 52 for Crimson. But Infix has uh, just Ridmark Archers in here. But he's got these Shield Maidens launching loads at these Nurad Halberds and a smart choice Brotherhood of the Sword which is getting melted by the uh, axe throwers and Ritamark Spearmen. I'm not a big fan of the sword I know they have an inspiration value and their skill is like 20 freaking 2 but uh yeah I just I'd rather have something else <laughs> So, uh, you can tell over here, I was pretty much picked apart. My war chiefs, though, looks like they're literally eating that calf. And, uh, yeah, with that calf bonus, I would, I don't mind this. If they want to stay in here and fight my war chief retainers on a horse, then 
they can do that <laughs> all they want. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, what I should have done is put these guys in loose formation and backed them against the wall. Um, I think that would have been would have been better. Yeah, look at that. They just they just chew through uh, through Cav. Now he's going to bring up 41 Shield Maidens. So yeah, look how gross this battlefield is. Just dead, stinky horses all over the place. It's probably horse manure, dead bodies. It just stinks to high heaven. No one wants to be here. Oh man, generals are dropping like crazy. So that goes Ro both Rohan's generals. Now he's going to try to get a volley off uh, of shield maidens off on these Nurad board chief retainers. Not cool. He's got quite a bit of cap, but uh, let's see. Horse archers, horse archers, horse archers, light cap. He's got a heavy cap there. He's got horse archers, horse archers, shield maidens. So it's a lot of horse archers. So if he didn't have these shield maidens, and uh, I, I think I could take the rest of these guys with just this Nurad War Chief Retainer unit. Um. Let's see, Rohan has a good position up here with the Shield Maidens on the hill. Let's see, Rohan says victory seems certain on this side, and that's probably because they are getting shots off in the back with the Cavs and Nice Hammer and Anvil. Look at that. Just there's no way to answer all those axe throwers, and that's that's the damage of those shield maidens what they can do. See, so yeah, like, this this thing, these halberds, so dumb. <laughs> I hate that. War Chief Retainer says vic uh, defeat seems certain. But then, uh, let's see. Defeat. Defeat. So, um, both, everyone says it's just gonna defeat each other. <laughs> They're all gonna die. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, Shield Maiden is about to flank J Monster. Nice job by Rohirrim Knight getting in here with two units of sh uh, Shield Maidens. Still, uh, Nurad War Chief Retainers, they need a unit of infantry over here to attack these War Chief Retainers because they will not go down easy. If usually these guys, if you play with Khan, are the last unit you have alive almost every time and you can get them to fight pretty much the whole time let's see what is going on all right so i lost my fight obviously i'm down to uh 45 neurod war chief retainers and i'm saying screw you celtic i'm going to get some more kills because all i got to kill was horses <laughs> so it was it sucked that fight really sucked I only had mobile horses to kill, and that is never fun. Here at War Chief Retainers, down to 14. Those halberds are broken, so yeah, last unit to fight and left standing is your War Chief Retainers. Uh, they will probably end up breaking because there's nothing left, and there's 12 of them. So now it says defeat seems certain, which it should. There is a lot. Rohan people around here. So yeah, we get a little bit of piece of elite on elite action. Yeah, their their weapons are so cool. They got a shield on the back. They have an anti cap bonus, and uh, it's like a, a oh, it's like a spear halberd thing. So it's awesome. And they have good reach too. They still got 22 of them left. But it is just not enough to count. Not enough. I mean, look at all. This battle went from over here and swung around over here. Big old stinking line. So, yeah, today, Rune. What are Rune? My goodness, I've been playing with Rune too much. <laughs> Rohan was victorious and uh, see the final charge shield maintenance evaporate but ultimately it's just not good enough let's 
It's just, just terrible. It makes me sad. And there goes my general. So I'm pretty sure every general has died. So I'm going to fast forward it real fast because it's pretty clear that even though these war chiefs are pretty good, they're not going to take on like a whole army of Rohan. So. so yeah, the final percentage was 99 to 82. So they beat, they, they put a spanking on us by like 18, 17, 18 percent. And I think it was because they outcapped us. Like they had more horse archers. We had to throw in. Good tidings. We had to throw in our cav, our melee cav against their horse archers, so that made them run away. Then they would keep shooting us, and then we just keep losing horses for pretty much no reason. Um, but yeah, so um, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, Khan fights to the very end. I mean. Crimson had 60 route, and uh, yeah, 38 and 39. Uh, for Rohan, they got, uh, we're only going to be able to see Rohan's stats, but uh, let's see. Celtic got 2,600 uh, kills, and that's probably because I brought 2,800. I brought uh, oh, probably 700, 800 more troops than everybody else, which I should have invested heavy in Cav. I might have, uh, it might have been a balanced fight, and we just might have just killed each other's troops and went home. Uh, but he, uh, I could not hang with all the calves that Celtic brought. In the middle, uh, Infix, uh, those shield maidens, they just do crazy. J Monster, uh, pulled it through for, on his side. He really, uh, Killed a lot. He went against Rohirrim Knight, and he had 2,400 troops. So he, those civilians and stuff, they just add numbers to you. But we'll see. Um, I really want to show you the Shield Maidens numbers um, right here. This is for Rohirrim Knight. Uh, 319 and 214. They that is ridiculous. So two units getting a combined total of almost. 550 kills. Same for NXFix. He got 222 and 238. Wait, no. What am I looking at? Wrong. Uh, Shield Maidens. 397. Oh my gosh. And then the other one just got 89, but that's still 500 and something. Uh, almost, yeah, 500 kills. Over 500 kills with the Shield Maidens. And here we go, uh, 160 and 204. So there's definitely over 1,400 kills with just Shield Maidens in this fight. Six units of Shield Maidens killed 1,400 troops. So uh, yeah, it's, that is um, that's a big one. Cav, Cav pulling it through as well. 190, 223, 238 for Rohan. Uh, let's see here. Redmark Cavalry, 402, 312, 293, Sons of Earl. So, yeah, it was, it was very good use of Cav. We got out Cav, which means we got outplayed. Uh, Khan, we needed to bring more horse archers. I hate horse archers, but for this fight, whenever you go against Rohan, that's the name of the game. So, uh, you just got to... You just got to suck it up and do it. So it was a cool fight. I'm glad we did it. I wouldn't say Rohan is better than Khan. I would say, though, that Rohan has more versatile cab units. And um, they they can outmaneuver Khan with horse archers and things like that. But for the infantry side, I would say it goes to Khan definitely. Um, so, yeah, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. But for a battle like this, you really had to make it balanced, and we were wanting it to be infantry, and it just didn't happen. So um, I appreciate it to everybody, and Rohan is not the best faction. They suck. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool, I guess. I just I, I only like evil factions, but as you all know. So, uh, But yeah, I appreciate it to everybody, and thank you guys for watching. I hope to uh, put up another replay pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.